He said this to everyone. Once you're a part of the morning show or of, of Local 12, that you are a part of this family and you are always a part of it, whether it's one day or 100 years. And when you know you have that, that family away from your own family, there to protect you and love you and help you, your whole world changes. And it certainly changed mine here in, in the Tri-State for sure. He just wanted everyone to have a good time. <laughs> That's probably the biggest lesson, you know, stay in the moment, live your life, have a good time. Besides just the, you know, how to write a good story, he taught me how to be a good person and how those two things are kind of connected. Maybe you messed up, big deal. You know, nobody died. He would always say that, it's fine, it's TV, we're not doing brain surgery here. Is it hard at times? Sure. But you got through it and we'll do it again in five minutes or tomorrow or in a week and everything will be okay and you'll learn and you'll be better. Just be yourself. I'm not so sure that his, his final lesson won't end up being the one that's the most important. <clears throat> And that's the lesson of time and how it is so short in terms of the amount of what we get and how important it is to spend that time wisely. He worked hard and he was a really impressive journalist and he was serious when he needed to be and hard hitting when he needed to be, but he also knew how to enjoy each moment and still have time to be considerate and kind to like everyone he came in contact with. When somebody comes up to you, even if you're doing 15 things at once, they have a real reason for trying to get your attention. And, and basically it made me realize that I had to be more approachable to anyone who, who came to me with a concern or a problem and from that day forward, I tried to make that a priority. And, and I never talked to John about that. He, he, he probably made the single most comment that, that changed my entire career and the way that I approached being a manager. And he never knew it. He was cool. He was kind. And he was a great friend. He could always read the room, and he always found a way to make a connection with a person.